What is up guys, Aquagear here and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon. Today, this is actually right after the first episode, so yeah, it's, I'm recording almost like half an hour after, but the only reason I'm doing this is because I really want to get to that desert. Last episode, we didn't quite get to do it and I really, really, really want to get there, so again, let's grab our Pokemon that we want. I want my star you with me because um, I want to turn that into a star me. And, uh, well, we have to have our tropius, so let's grab those. Do we have a water stone in here? Yes, I do have a water stone. So, guys, let's actually evolve Staryu right now. So, if you want to use a stone on someone, you gotta go to it, then click on it, and then it'll start evolving. So, first evolution, let's do this. I'm hoping it actually looks really cool because it is a pretty big Pokemon. Come on. Come on. Look cool. Yeah, it looks like a huge star. It looks awesome. Star you has evolved into Starmie. Let's look at it. But yeah, that looks really cool. But since I actually I just evolved it, let's put it back. Let's grab our Chimchar. So, yep. Um, and. You guys might see occasional clips from last episode, because what happened was last episode, I didn't get enough time to put everything in. So you might see a clip or two from last episode in here, but it'll just look from this episode. But what I'm going to do is I've got a couple wave, wave points to the deserts, and I'm going to be heading there. So I'll see you guys when I get over well, there. Well, guys, we are at the desert. So, yeah, I put a wave point, one right there, one right there, whatever. So we're at the desert, and a lot of these types are like ground rock, and our water Pokemon will be effective against them. So, let's, which, alright, let's actually, I want to evolve my Squirtle. It's going to evolve real soon, so let's just fight a Diglett. Get over here, you Diglett. And I do have Water Gun, so that should kill it. Water Gun, super effective, great. Don't get hit, Squirtle, come on, I believe in you. Yes. Bite. Oh, that's real good. What is this? Uh, nope, let's get rid of this. Oh, and it's evolving too. Yeah, I knew it was going to evolve real quick. We've been in the video for like three minutes and we've already had two evolutions. This is nice. It's going to evolve into a war turtle. I don't know if it's a war turtle, like war turtle. I have no idea. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. Yeah. It learns bite. Again. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Let's send this thing out. Oh, it looks so cool. Can't wait till it turns into a Blastoise. That's gonna take a little bit. Let's grab our Mudkip. Let's try to do something with this thing. This beastly thing. We have to find a Pokemon that is lower level. What is? It? What are you? Eleven. I think it could take you on. Uh, nope. I'm gonna Pokemon. I'm gonna switch out to the War Turtle. Because this thing is gonna kick its butt. Oh, Water Gun. This should kill it. Automatically. Ooh, Mudkip just learned Water Gun. Alright, see, now it can fight a little bit better. Let's... How, what level are you, Magmar? 37? Magmar. Ooh. Um, I think Empoleon can handle it, actually. Let's go, Empoleon. Uh, Magmar. Aqua Jet this thing. Empoleon. Uh, I didn't exactly do it. Bubble Beam it. Magmar. And kill that thing. Cool. Ooh. So, no, no, go back in. Blaze Potter, alright, that's cool. Yeah, let's just keep fighting. And there is a Desert Temple right there, but I already raided it, like, a long while ago. What, what levels are you? Eight. You know, I think my Mudkip can handle you. Get over here. Uh, let's water gun this thing. It's dead. Yeah, 11. What are you? 23. 30. Nope. It's Geodude. Stupid Geodude. Let's see what this thing is. 13. Mudkip can handle Mudkip. it. Don't get killed, Mudkip. Yeah. Nice job, Mudkip. Oh, it's all. We just need to get to level 16, and I think it'll evolve just like War Turtle. 26. 
don't even think about it. Sigilyph. This is like a physic flying. But it has kind of really bad stats. It has an amazing typing, but bad stats. And it doesn't even evolve, so it just stays with the bad stats. So I don't think I'll be going for that. What are you? 29. Nope. 17. You know what? My mudkip can take you on. Let's go. Stupid normal. Come on, let's go. Don't kill me. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Don't play it that way. You get rocked. That's right. 14. Cool. I'm at level 14 already. Um. Let's see what that clown over there. Let's see what level he is. Whoop, that's a pretty strong electrode. 26. You know what? My Empoleon can handle it. Let's go. Wheezing. Wheezing. I know what to do with you. Well, beam you. And I think uh, Aqua Jet has like priority or something, which kills it. Bull picks. I know Aqua Jet this thing. Growlithe. Growlithe. I don't even care. But I kicked its butt, so. Yay. Yeah, let's just keep running around looking for things to kill in battle. Yeah, I know. Legendary. Oh, Arbok. Hmm. I'm going to run away. 25. Graveler. Fine, I'll beat you, you stupid Graveler. Die. I am pulling and leveled up. Just have some shit here, actually. Because why not? Yes. Darn it, Geodude, shut up. Okay, kill this thing. There you go. Yeah, and it's getting nighttime, which I do not like. Darn it. Alright, guys, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut out, and I actually wanna wait until day so you guys can see better. So, I'll see you when there is daytime. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, um, I've been just doing a little bit of training overnight. And yes, it's still night, but I'm actually pretty afraid that Mudkip will evolve during this fight. Uh, Bide. No, I don't want Bide. No. Yes, I don't want to learn it. Alright, yep, so he didn't evolve. Good. But he will evolve right now. So let's, let's kill this thing. Uh, water gun it quick. Yes. Alright, mud keeps evolving. Yay, he's gonna turn into a marsh tom. Yeah, a marsh tom. You might as well, you guys might have heard a little bit of scratching and bumping. Because I accidentally like touched my headset for some reason. No, are you serious? Come on. Why is my body in the way? Mud shot. Mud slap. Alright, I'll Place that. Let's look at this thing. That looks pretty cool. Can't wait till it turns into a uh, swampert. All right. Well, yep. We evolved our marsh tops or the mudkip. My bad. So, yep. Again, I'm no traveler. Shut up. I don't want to oh, talk boy. to you. I'm gonna wait until day and then I'm gonna cut back in. Sorry, guys. Alright, guys. Well, it's daytime. I've done a little bit of training, not a whole lot, but. Anyway, um, I didn't want to cover the desert too long, just to evolve my mudkip and my squirtle, so I think that's enough. And guys, by the way, I'm going to make this episode a little bit short, maybe 12, 14 minutes, because last one was like 23, so I felt like giving some people a break. So, let's just do a couple things. Let's, let's go to our poke center and heal, and then we'll just kill ourselves to get back home, because we do not have really anything that special. Let's just jump in here, heal our Pokemon, get out of the way, stupid. Okay, let's heal them. Heal, 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 heal. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. So. Now what I want to do is something I've never done before, but I don't know, it just kind of sounds like fun. So let's run out. Uh, nope, wrong button. Let's just fly up straight up in the air. Let's go like super high up in the air. And if you look at the corner of the screen where the mini map is, it can tell the coordinates. So we're at 200, 220, we're at 250. Let's just keep going up, then up, then up, then up until we're like at like 1,000. 
and then we'll jump off this guy. So we're at around 400. I've actually never, never done this before, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> Jumping off, falling a couple hundred blocks. That sure looks really cool riding this thing. It has like beating wings and it looks kind of like a dragon. I mean, it's a giant dinosaur with bananas hanging from its chin. Who doesn't want that? We're at 600, 600. Let's, I want to get to 1,000 at least. So We're going to be falling for quite a bit. And I can see... Let's go forward a little bit. Uh, yeah, my house... The laws of the desert, 700. Well, we're almost at 800 right now. I'm surprised actually how high you can go with this. And, like, you could go and create it and just fly up, but this is actually a lot faster. These things fly up real high. So, we're almost at 1,000. We're at 900 right now. So, a 100 more blocks up to go. And we're at 999, 1,000. So, that's pressing shift and we jump off. Whoa, we're falling to our death. I can see everything around me going black. No, I see a long drop, and I see ground, I see ground, I see ground, <laughs> oh, that was awesome, and we're back in our little house, but guys, um, I'm just gonna show you a little clip of me finding, uh, like, a little Pokeball and getting a prize that I'm not gonna show you, haha, <laughs> -ha. so guys, I'm gonna cut that clip in real quick, and then we will end off the episode. Well, guys, um, I've been just roaming around, and I found one of these little tree things where you can get an item. So let's see what item we get. Power Bracer. That that actually is kind of useful. So anyway, guys, um, that was just a little quick thing. I'll see you when yes. I get wherever. Oh, All right, going. guys. Well, um, you guys saw that clip. We got... Well, let's go look at it again. We got... Where is it at? Where did I put it? I lose it. Oh, are you kidding me? Because I did that yesterday. Don't tell me I lost it. I couldn't have lost it, right? Nope, it's right here. Power Bracer. Feel stupid now. Yep, so that's a Power, bra power Bracer. I'll look up what it does later, but... Let's actually look at our Pokedex real quick. We haven't looked at this. So again, the Pokedex is it shows any Pokemon that you've seen, caught, whatever. It shows our little figure. Tell something about them, like... Scyther. The sharp scythes on its forearms become increasingly sharp by cutting through hard objects. So, obviously, as knives for arms, Starmie, it core shines in many colors and sends radio signals into space to communicate with something. It's actually really weird. It's communicating to aliens. As long as its red core remains, it can regenerate its body instantly, even if it's torn apart. It's a really cool power. Let's go look at some other ones. Let's go look at Mudkip in Marshtown. To alert it, the fin on its head senses the, f the flow of water. It has strength to heft boulders. That little thing can lift boulders? Nah. Its sturdy legs give it sure footing, even in mud. It borrows into dirt to sleep. That's really cool. Um, let's get some other ones. Drapion Skorupi. It lives in arid regions, and it can go without food for a year while waiting for prey. That's cool. This one's... I'm hoping it's going to be good. It takes pride in its strength. Even though it can tear foes apart, it finishes them off with the poison. With powerful poison. That's cold. Uh, Boulder. Let's get this one. When it is healthy, its core sticks out, always facing the same way. It swiftly moves front to back, left to right. That's cool. Let's see a Bisharp. Zora. Oh, actually, this one's really cool. Stories say those... Who try to catch Zoroark were trapped in an illusion and punished. Those are that's actually a really cool Pokemon. Uh, when their two divide brains think the same thoughts, their physical power is maximized. Cool. I'm trying to look for the Bisharp. Uh, right here. The pitiless Pokemon commands a group of Ponyard to hound prey into immobil immobility, and then finish it, and then moves in to finish the prey off. That's that's really cool. Nope. How do I get out of it? All right, there we go. So yeah, the Pokedex can just, like, find you stuff and things. And guys, but we do have to end off the episode somewhere, so. Um, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Aqua Gear. Make sure to leave a like and a comment to support my channel. 
and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.